We just big belly bitches. That's what we do. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. If you're new here, I like to review brands and let you guys know whether or not they're gonna fit people that have similar body types. I'm typically a size 20, 22 in pants and a 2X, sometimes 3X, just depends on where it's from. In shirts, I definitely have experience with shopping plus size. So today the brand we are going to tackle is Walmart. Walmart in the past few years have actually stepped up their game when it comes to clothing, even in their plus size, which is crazy. I remember back in the day, it used to be like, oh, you, you buy your clothes at Walmart? Um, okay. But like now it's like, I'm just walking around with my $5 bell bottoms. If you want to judge me, then you. Today I got a bunch of different variety of items and they're also from different brands from them. So like they have their Terra Sky, No Boundaries. I can't think of them right now off the top of my head. But yeah, let me stop rambling and go ahead and let's get straight into the try on portion. Okay, so let's try on some clothes. I would like to make a quick disclaimer before we get into the video. With pretty much any of my try on hauls, I do wear shapewear. I do have on some shapewear underneath these clothes and anything that I try on will be with shapewear. Also fit check. The skirt is actually in my last video, my doll's kill haul. So if you want to check that out, you should definitely watch that. I'll um, link it. And then this top is Shein, this corset. And then this is Shein as well. These are some denim bell bottoms. They're actually super stretchy. So I hope that they'll fit. The brand is no boundaries, but I did have to get a 2X, which is a size 19. I think that's juniors. I usually get a 3X, but we'll see. They're kind of stretchy, so I'm hoping that they'll fit. Ooh. Ugh. These are tight. <sighs> that was a workout. I will put the camera lower so you can see, but they are so cute. But to be honest, they are not stretchy enough. They're just honestly not comfortable around here. I feel like if they went higher up and they were a little bit more elastic, so maybe a size 3X would have worked, but they didn't have them in stock. I do think I'm gonna have to return this one because these do not... They're just a little too tight. But one thing I do love about these, they are actually long enough for me. I'm like almost 5'9", like 5'8", 5'9", and it is extremely hard for me to find jeans that are long enough, and especially with bell bottoms, like you don't want to flood in bell bottoms, but these are like the perfect length. Also, forgot to mention, like my whole fupa is out. <laughs> But they're definitely too tight. Like, I feel like if I sit down, they might bust. Also, I don't even have a butt, but they're kind of doing that, like, dip thing. So this next item is a black corset dress. They were also out of stock in the size 3X. I did have to get a 2X in this as well. We'll see how this works. I think it is kind of bodycon, so I don't know how, how much I'm gonna like it. I'm not a huge fan of bodycon, but we'll see. And it's long sleeve. Okay, so here is the corset dress on. With this No Boundaries brand, I believe these are juniors, so they do run a little bit smaller, so I definitely should have opted for the 3X if they had had it in stock. I do love the detailing, and it has a lot of stretch. It's comfortable. The sleeves are a little short. Eh, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna keep this as well. It has a hood, no pockets. Um, I mean, if you're one that likes really tight things like bodycon, this may be good for you. I'm really just not that person who likes to have something skin tight. I actually have an idea. One second, let me try something. Eh, I don't know how I feel about this, but this is usually what I do for something that's kind of too revealing or bodycon. I'll put a corset over it. This isn't really working. This one is also no boundaries. It's just a plaid, stretchy overall dress. Let's see how it fits. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to put it on, but this is how I'm putting it on. Ow. The way you close it is like buckles on a belt. The hardest part about this dress is trying to get it buckled. This dress makes me wish I had some like thigh high boots that go right there, like some black ones. That would be cute. It has pockets. This one's actually really stretchy, really cute. It is kind of bodycon. Uh, I don't hate it on this dress. I would wear tights underneath. 
that's just me that's what i wear with everything i think it's a nice dress um it will show your tummy you know anything you wear is going to show your tummy if you're fat like me we just big belly bitches that's what we do i'm just gonna kind of try on everything as brands so like all the no boundary stuff together um, any of the other brands together so you can kind of tell the difference in sizing by brand too i got these checkered purple and black bell bottoms bell bottoms are definitely back in because they had a lot of bell bottoms so i give these a plus they are super comfortable one thing they're not as long as i would like them to be i think those first denim ones were a lot longer for some reason Reason, but the waist is super stretchy these are a size 3x by the way super high waisted no booty but there wasn't one to begin with so whatever so yeah, I think I definitely wear these though like maybe with some platform boots kind of try to make them look like they're supposed to be cropped because I look like I'm flooding the fupa is definitely gonna show she's there definitely in no boundaries if you're a size like me, get a 3X no matter what. And even the things that are a 3X, they're probably gonna be a little bit tight. If you don't like bodycon, if you don't like tight, non-breathable clothes, then it's probably not for you. This is one I'm actually super excited about. So this is the first time I've seen this brand at Walmart. It's called Madden NYC. I've never heard of it, but is this not the cutest shirt? Like I think it looks like something you could probably find on Shein for like $5. It's a little bit expensive for my taste. I think it was like 10. Usually Walmart shirts aren't that much. I had to get it. It's so cute with the little corset detail. Let's try it on. I have high hopes for this because it's super stretchy. I don't know where it could go wrong, but I don't want to speak too soon. Oh, y'all didn't just see that, did y'all? I hit myself in the eyeball. It's okay. Oh, so this is super cute. The only thing, the boob part kind of doesn't line up with where my boobs sit. That's pretty typical with tops like this. And I'm not even big chested. So keep that in mind if you are big chested. These never like to sit where they're supposed to. I don't know. Are they supposed to go in the middle? Like, I don't know. But I really love it. And this part's actually sheer. And the arms are sheer too. I got one more thing from this brand. They are a juniors brand because the size of jeans is 21. They look pretty big. They're not very stretchy. We will see. I'm really hoping these will fit. They're pink bell bottoms. They're so freaking cute. I am just like so grateful that bell bottoms came back into style because I think they're so cute. Ignore me for saying so cute like 50 kabillion times. I don't have a wide range of vocabulary. I have not tried these on. I've been waiting to film this for you guys because I wanted all my reactions to be genuine, blind. Okay, she's starting to get a little tight. <laughs> oh no. So I was zipping it up, you know, I got it above my tummy i got a button i was zipping it and the zipper got caught on this material and it broke no i was so excited for these two there's a piece of zipper still left in there i was able to zip, get them zipped up i have like the biggest tummy ever i'm apple shaped so they're definitely tight on the belly um but they're long enough. They're super cute. I don't think I could sit down in them. I have been going to the gym, you know, maybe I'll lose a little something so that they'll fit. I'm mostly doing it for mental health wellness, but you know, if that comes with it and I can fit these jeans, that's cool. They're actually long too. If only that freaking zipper didn't break. Why do bad things keep happening? These are some like stretchy sweat cargo pants. They have pockets on the sides. They were on clearance for $5. So I was like, these look comfy, I need them. And this brand is Time and True and they're size 3X. That was literally so easy to put on. These are so comfortable, oh my gosh. Pockets, pockets. It's like they're good for the gym, but they're also good if you wanna like look cute. You can kind of hide that they're sweatpants. I'm sweating a little bit, but I don't really care because they're skinny leg. Super comfortable. These are Terra Sky. They're a size 22 and they're just corduroy skinny jeans. They don't have any stretch. Clearance for $5 though. Oh my gosh, I was just pulling them up and the freaking, the belt loop just broke that's not good okay yeah these are not for me they fit but like barely i can't really get them to zip they're not very stretchy in the waist these are not it but i'm actually gonna show you guys before we're done because this is like kind of my last item but i'm gonna show you guys a pair of jeans that i wear all the time that are from them just to show you that all their jeans are not like this <laughs> these jeans right here 
are a size 22. They're from Terra Sky. They do have a little bit of stretch in the waist and they're also boot cut and they have like a raw hem at the bottom. These fit me. I have another pair that are skinny jeans from the same line or whatever. Found them in the same area. They're a size 22. They're too big for me. I don't really get their sizing. Luckily, they have a pretty good return policy. Okay, guys, if you haven't noticed, I am rocking my newest edition shirt. I love it. I'm going to give you my final opinions on Walmart clothes and let you guys know whether or not I think that they are plus size friendly and just what I think of their clothes. I have been shopping at Walmart for a very long time and a lot of their things are just hit or miss really. But my overall opinion is yes, they are plus size friendly, partially. It really just depends on which brand you shop when you're there because all of their clothes fit differently. So I never really got around to what my overall rating was. So if I had to rate based on trendiness, I definitely think they receive an 8 out of 10. They definitely have lots of trendy items, but they're not as up to date as other retailers such as Shein or Cider. If I had to rate based on the price point, I do think they are very affordable. So I would give them a 10 out of 10 on that. Now as for sizing, lots of items did fit me, but I'm not the highest size that comes in plus size. I do think they should go up to about a 4X, maybe even a 5X, so that it could be even more inclusive. Even some of the 3X items that I've got weren't even true to size. So I think for sizing, I'm going to have to go with 7 out of 10. And lastly, quality. As for most affordable brands, these do not have the best quality. For example, a few of my items did break, but usually most of my items hold up pretty well. I'm not sure on this new brand, but most of my clothes tend to last pretty long. Because of this, I'm going to rate them an 8 out of 10. But I do think that they're big girl friendly. Maybe not if you have a body shape like me, but are a little bigger. I think I'm basically at the point where like some items fit some items don't and if you're smaller than me I definitely think that it will work for you people size 16 through 18 definitely would work for you 14 and as on as on I really wish I would have gotten more items but I can always do a part two so my dog just decided to oh okay she's about to jump Oh, okay. So my dog just decided to jump on the bed mid-film, but it's okay. It's not like you're interrupting anything, Stormy. It's okay. Lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, I remember. Okay, I remember what I was talking about now. Two hours later. If you guys would like a part two or there's another brand that you would like me to try, don't forget to comment that brand down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and follow me for more if you'd like to see more videos like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, I love you.